This might be a bold claim, but I'm gonna say it anyway. This could be the only screen recorder you ever need. If you are tired of blurry recordings, clunky interfaces, then you need to see what this tool can do. Last month I was testing out Focusy, the screen recorder that doesn't just record your screen. It automatically zooms in on your clicks, highlights what matters and makes your video look like they were edited by a pro. Even if you never touch an editor in your life. I'm not gonna waste your time, so let me show you what it can do. When you go to their website, you can download the desktop version, available for Windows and Mac OS. If you prefer working online, there is also a web-based version. If we take a quick look at the pricing, there is still time until December 28 to get an extra Christmas discount if you use this code here. Even without the discount, the pricing is very affordable for what you get. You can choose between standard plan, advanced plan or a lifetime purchase and all plans come with a 60 day money back guarantee. For this tutorial I will go with the desktop version and this is the interface before you start recording. Here you can choose different types of recordings like full screen, custom area, window or you can even record a device. On the right side you can select your computer camera or phone camera, choose the microphone, manage audio settings, and you can even enable a teleprompter which is great for presentations or tutorials. Just write your text, hit play and start reading. Down here you can search for your recording history, edit previous recordings or delete them. For this example I'll record CapCut desktop so I'll use window option. Alright, now we are inside the Focusy interface after recording a short video in CapCut. Keep in mind this is completely unedited video so pay attention to what happens when I play it. You can see automatic zoom in, zoom out, click animations and automatic cursor tracking. And this is all done with zero manual editing. If we go up here you can change the aspect ratio from 16 by 9 to 1 by 1 square, 4 by 3 or 9 by 16 for vertical videos. You can adjust the padding which is the space around the window, add an inset change the roundness and even add a shadow, which you don't see it right now because of the dark background. But with one click you can easily change the background. If we click on the zoom section, we can increase or decrease zoom by dragging this handle. You can also add zoom sections directly in the timeline and make them as long as you want. By default, the focus follows the cursor but if you want to change it, you can simply drag this blue circle to any spot on the screen. Now let's move to the cursor settings. Here you can change the size, color and shape of the cursor. You can customize the click effect, including the ripple color, opacity and size. You can choose from different effects like ring, diffusion, spotlight or even fireworks. For extra feedback you can enable cursor click sound or completely hide the cursor if you want. In the zoom options you can adjust zoom motion blur, screen motion blur, cursor motion blur, change cursor movement speed and fine tune zoom and pan behavior. If you are using a camera or phone camera you have multiple layout options. You can change its position, remove or blur the background, resize it, adjust roundness and even flip sides. This icon here controls your audio quality. You can enhance the volume up to 300% or mute the audio completely if you don't need it. You can also display shortcut keys on your screen. For example, I have one here and when I hover over it, you'll see the shortcut icon. You can fully customize it, resize it, move it or even display a single shortcut keys. Here you can import your own watermark so no one can steal your content. If you are recording a talking head video, this is where you can automatically remove silence and fill words with just one click. And last but not least, perfect if you are camera shy. You can create your own AI avatar that talks instead of you. And finally, one more really useful feature. You can add a blur, for example to hide sensitive information or something else. 
or highlight to draw attention to something really important. That's it for this video. I've been using Focusy for quite some time now and for tutorials like this there is no better tool. If this helped you leave a like, subscribe for more editing and workflow tips and let me know in the comments what kind of videos you are creating. See you in the next one.